Okay, what's up guys? It is Pip here and welcome back to another Colorado Avalanche talk or discussion or whatever you want to call it nowadays. What a game. What? What a game. We needed this so badly. It was just pure domination from period one to period three. It was, oh, oh my god. It was so gorgeous. So gorgeous. So first of all, let's talk about a couple things here. Valen Nichushkin got his 100th goal, I believe it was. I believe it was his 100th. It was either that or his 200th. I don't remember now. And then Sam Malinsky with his first NHL goal, which is huge. That is huge. I mean, he could be a really good player for us. If he grows a little bit more, maybe, maybe you know, he's a little... I don't know. He's yeah. I don't think he's an NHL player just yet. I think he still needs to grind a little bit. But overall... First NHL goal, he got an assist tonight. It was it was a huge game for him. Miko Rantanen had four shots on goal, a goal, four shots on yeah, four shots on goal, a goal and two assists, which is huge for Miko Rantanen. And then Nathan McKinnon with two assists. I wish he had a goal. Oh, I wish he had it. It would have been so. Oh, I would have loved it. Sam Linsky with a goal and an assist. Valerie Nachushkin. Valerie Nachushkin. Two goals. Against the Buffalo Sabres. Man's just unstoppable. Man is just unstoppable. He's going to be disgusting for us. We signed him for six years, too. Unstoppable. And, of course, Jonathan Drouin got an assist. Jack Johnson got an assist. Cam McCarr got an assist. Federick Olofsson got an assist. And Miles Wood with a beautiful goal. Beautiful goal. Overall, this game was just domination from the start to the end. Because if you watch that whole first period... Their first shot was not until like the end of the first period. I think it was like I think their first shot was like at two minutes or something like that. Because we they had no shots almost the whole first period, which is crazy. That is insane, insane. But overall, and it was Eric Johnson's return night. That video was so sad. I <laughs> I would watch that video over and over and over again. That video is so sad. But overall, just, just domination by the Colorado Avalanche. And Prozmatov is doing way better than Georgiev right now. It's sad to say, but he is just crushing Georgiev stats right now. It's insane. I I just don't know. I don't know what's going on with Georgiev. I don't know if he's just struggling right now. I don't know if he's on like a, a low point of his game right now, but he is struggling. It's just struggling right now. And Prozmatov has came in put the fork on the ice and is just dominating be between the post it's crazy it's crazy he's playing really good right now and i love to see it it makes me so happy he i we have a goalie that can back up georgiev when he has his bad days i love to see it i mean Franzos, i feel like he would be able to do the same thing it's just i don't know yeah, I, I think his contract, I think Franzos' contract is up at the end of the year. So hopefully we just get rid of him and just keep Prozmatov. That would be kind of nice because Prozmatov is just disgusting in net. So, I mean, I would like to see it that way because, you know, I believe if I'm if I'm right, if I I got to check again, probably because I think right now isn't isn't Franzos getting paid like two million or something like that to just be injured. <laughs> like, and I think Prozmatov just signed like a really cheap deal. So. I mean, why not? Let's just keep Prozman off. He's clearly doing better. Let's just do it that way. Hmm? Let's just do it. Let's do it that way. Overall, an amazing game for the Colorado Avalanche. Let's go to games first. So, we first, oh, God. The Jets on Saturday. Oh, my God. That game's going to suck. That game is going to suck, by the way. It, this, this game's going to suck because we're in Winnipeg. Connor is... Kyle Connor is injured. So maybe we have a chance. Could be a possibility. We may have a chance. But then we play the Sharks on Sunday. So two back to back games. And then December, uh, uh, I mean, and then Tuesday, first Blackhawks should be an easy game. Two easy games here. Senators might be an easy game. Couch should be an easy game, like I said last time. But overall, we should have some good games coming up here. The easy, best way to say it, we have some good games coming up here. Standings, we are still first place ahead of the Jets. Two points ahead of the Jets now. Ooh, we have some interesting games coming up. Because we first versus the Jets for basically the lead 
in the division yeah because if they if they beat us whoops if they beat us they take over the lead in the division if we win we get a bigger gap between them which would be huge which would be huge and the stars are still there at 35 so they still have a chance predators are still there at 32 points i mean they have a chance they just got to win a lot of games they are winning a lot of games they won two in a row so and i love to see this i love to see this four game losing streaks on the couch and blues so far the wild are still down here how how are they down here holy cow okay whatever blackhawks are still down here losing two in a row of course the golden knights are just dominating and they have their winter classic here in a little bit because god can you believe it's almost new year's jesus they're still winning four in a row which is crazy canucks have won three in a row which i hate seeing uh and the kings are losing stop losing kings you gotta go over the canucks please ducks sharks still at the bottom here eastern conference bruins panthers maple leaves red wings are still gonna be fighting these it, these top four are gonna be fighting for this position this whole year it's gonna be insane and then senators are still at the bottom so you I mean we have a chance we can beat them when we play them uh blue jackets and penguins are still at the bottom with hurricanes still being at the bottom wow it's kind of crazy i guess the islanders have won four in a row holy cow but overall overall doing really good doing really good for the injuries we have right now is insane with the Terry Lecter being out for six to eight weeks I think it was and then you know Gabriel Landeskog being out for a full year it's just we need something we need some this is pushing us along here we have some games coming up that are gonna be a little interesting it's gonna be a little interesting games coming up against Winnipeg that's gonna be a game that's gonna be I don't know if we're gonna win in Winnipeg Winnipeg could be that could be an interesting game I don't I, they're doing really good this year so I guess I guess we'll see I guess we'll see what Winnipeg but well, we go to Winnipeg too which is sucky but we're not at home which we should have won at home which is crazy but overall doing really good both games these both games we needed to win it felt so good to win these games we just got to go into Winnipeg Put our foot on the ground and just plow right through Winnipeg, please. And then we can beat the Sharks, beat the Blackhawks, beat the Senators, beat the Coyotes, and we'll be happy. We'll all be happy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys tell me down in the comments down below. How is your NHL team doing? How is the NHL season going for you guys? How is the winter going for you guys? Where I live here, it hasn't even snowed. So I'm kind of sad. It snowed a little bit, but it won't snow for Christmas, which is crazy. But... Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure that notification bell is always on for future notifications of any videos coming out. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Go abs. Always go abs.